Hey there everyone, this is Shago, welcome back to my Pokemon X. In the last episode, we kicked two flyers for Pokeball Factory. Balls to it, let's do uh, Route 15. Uh, the main gimmick of uh, Route 15 is there's a bunch of leaves in a bush. Some of them might take contain items, some of them might actually contain trainers. There's also berries, which is nice. Um, actually, one thing I want to... Oh, ambush! Goodness me. Uh, I just actually remember something I actually want to get, and that is uh, somebody with strength. Oh, I'm also known as my HM slave. Kind of remembered actually, uh, we need to do that. Uh, basically, there's a play. Basically, uh, this place actually links with another route, and in order to get to uh, the other route, to the other route, you actually need strength. So, uh, we need to go do that uh, fairly quickly. Thank Father reached level 50, which is nice. Swoop back should uh, come crashing to a halt with a Thunderbolt. It's amazing that these so-called psychic flying types are not really that great. Apart from I think they were, uh, I think uh, what's it called? Well, the gear's probably the only other psychic flying I know of. That's actually pretty decent, but it's a legendary and it's supposed to be pretty goddamn decent. Crit was probably unnecessary, Sparkle, but. I'll take it. Carry 48. And yeah, this is actually a move I actually want to carry to learn. Since we're not going to be using Swag Player anymore, I'm going to get rid of Swagger. Uh, but basically, Superpower basically does damage, and then it, I believe it lowers attack and defense by one. But because Kai has Contrary, it actually raises her attack and defense by one, which is really good. Only five PPs, it's one downside, but uh, hey, you can potentially get rid of things that uh, might wallet with the fight time. Though. Cedra should also die with on the belt. I suppose anything that uh, Amphros is strong against, probably look, could look at it funny and it's like. Nah, you're dead. Yeah, I didn't even need to transform it into Mega. There's also a Hacked Maniac here. Which I'm probably also going to have to fire. Probably going to fire it by going around the back of it, but... Uh, she apparently likes her own things as well. No, that's really going to help you. Oh, well, the flinch. Got the flinch off the bite, that's nice. That's what I should care from that. Hey, Shadow. Alright, let me get back out to the route. Let me go get my HM slow because I need to do things. Thank you. 
Yeah, there's Jess and all who's over here. So it's um, yeah, slow. Oh, I do have Cali. Why am I? No, oh, it's Gebba. I don't know. Right, no, no. That's the two. Okay, we're back, and uh, really should actually make sure I have my uh, team in the actual thing actually ready because it's been the same for like, the last couple of videos, and it's, it's uh, when it actually wasn't that team. <laughs> <coughs> but anyway, as far as the wild Pokemon are concerned, I don't think any of them are that interesting. So uh, let's get literally ambushed again. Hey, cute, so goodbye. I've been scared except uh, I have a perfect counter for uh, dragon types in uh, a fairy type. Get out of here. Oh, you want to let him prison? The prison is not that good. Basically, any move that uh, your opponent has that you also have, um, they can't use them. Not very useful unless you uh, decide to do a mirror match. No, I do want to surf around because this is actually an item over here. There's also Pokemon over here. Alright, Fossil. Alright, Fossil, you want to fight? No, you're going to have a fight. I probably should have healed whilst I went to the Pokemon Center, but, uh... Oh, yeah. That did all half, which means I'm probably going to have to, uh... Do something to make you catchable. Oh, no, Pursuit. When I resist it. Oh, that was a bad thing to do. I wanted to fake it, actually. Well, that'll do. That'll do. Okay. That'll do just nicely. You go get Thunderwave. So I can chip some balls out. So seven great balls left. May as well. I should probably put that. I should probably actually put that master ball away in case I accidentally use it. What do you mean no? You're low health. You're paralyzed. Stop being a jerk and get into the pokeball. And stop spewing stars at your ass. Disgusting. Can it catch you? There we go. That was a pain in the ass, Jess. But at least you are alright. That's adorable and all, but yeah, you're not really a 
that's what I want. But yeah, there's a ball around here. Not a very interesting ball, but it's a ball anyway. Well, let's surf back down to where I was ambushed, because I need to go down here in order to progress. But yeah, actually Ponyo probably would be interesting. I'd probably consider using it, but it's a bit late. It's a bit late and I already have a steel type anyway that I'm, that I'm actually using. It's probably also going to survive a moon blast. Because it's typing. Not a crit one though, but I'm pretty sure it probably would have survived a regular one. I probably should use Drain Kit actually. Let's be honest, we can look at uh, Fang's HP though. Um, no. Who do you think I am? Part of the news. Falcon knows a no from me. Really is a no from me because I don't have anything that could uh well, actually yes I do. What am I talking about? He's part poison type, I have psychic moves. Alright, Kai, if you don't mind, shake out the paralysis please. I'll just Break through it, that'd be nice. I shall allow that. No, I was never here from the TV. Do I look like I'm holding a TV camera? No. Don't even have a microphone. And here's a dire hit that I'll never use. Well, it ups your crit ratio, a bit like focus energy. But so like I said, I'll never use it. There's a double battle here. And uh, let's see. So you can get up there. You and Fang are gonna have to uh, deal with this one. I think there's things you can actually also do around right here with those like ruins nearby. But yeah, I think I might just take some drink this on the strip room just so I can get some health back. And oh, I circle, so it's just gonna hit Fang as well. I'm just going to use water shuriken them. Nice of crap. The nice thing about the 2 to 5 turn things is, is that each one has an individual chance of pressing, so uh... Yeah, things like that happen. When do you learn Hydro Pump anyway? I think that's your last move. As far as you've learned anything is uh, concerned. Oh wow, that was a lot of that you got there. Shadow Ball's gonna do nothing to anybody. Except well, my special defense, which doesn't really matter. Yeah, I should probably be able to kill it from here. actually have uh, Aftermath which is fine. Cotton Guard. Um, I'm not going to learn it 
but it I believe it increases actually I should probably check this. Is I think it's defense by three. Yeah, it's defense but it raises defense by three. I think it's one of the very few moves that raises defense by raises a stat by more than one. Or by more than two. But cutting guard isn't useful. So no, that's not happening. Oh yeah, I think you can actually do things here because we have Rock Smash. Now we can actually do do anything because I think we also need Waterfall and we don't get that until later. Yeah, you need Waterfall. Uh, basically, I think there's something up there. But actually, you need Waterfall to get up there, so we don't have it yet. I'm pretty the level for these uh, these problems. So maybe using some of the left power. No, did you crash again, Frank? No. I think this was probably the way to go, though. On the plus side, Frank's at full health again. Alright, break that then. And a protein which raises attack by one. And it raises base attack anyway. Which isn't that useful when you have super training and you can just raise your base stats how you want them anyway. <coughs> oh bye, hollow clip. Hey there, Lionel, how are you today? He's talking about Mega Evolution. I don't know. Probably just the chosen few since uh, there's not really. There's only really a handful of the 700 and something Pokemon that can Mega Hall. I didn't actually have Rock Smash when I was scouting this area, so. Uh, I don't actually know what to find here. Uh, there is another area around here, I think it's like the abandoned hotel or something. Which I think is what these ruins are. We need Rock Smash to actually get in there for one. Which I don't have. Which I don't happen to have. I think all that's down there is a lot of ghost Pokemon. And oh my goodness, we're being attacked by mushrooms. I uh, see can actually not kill something so we can uh there we go. Let's just kill something that to uh, hopefully we'll uh, be able to catch this thing from here. There we go. Basically, the thing with Fungus was, uh, yeah, good job that thing, by the way. Um, Fungus was like the Voltorb of the like previous generations in uh, Generation Five. Basically, they were like trap balls, and that uh, you saw a ball in the field, which actually you checked it, it was mine to actually be a Fungus because well, you can't really see it from its main thing there and the angle, but uh, the the mushroom's cap is actually looks like a Pokeball. I can see how it's a little sprite though. That it's uh, that the cap on its head is a Pokeball. No, I don't hear voices. Do you, do you have voices in your head? Uh, you can start me go. You really do concern me with the voice you had. Let's risk a flame body competitor. Hi, 
I, I, I'm, I'm probably just been really lucky. Every time I've used a physical attack on something with flame body, it's like, uh, you know what? I'm just not, I'm just not even going to like trigger my thing. Ow, that's gonna hurt. That really is gonna hurt. You know what? You get a drink it. I want my health back, thank you very much. Pain split. Ah! Bat you. You and your voice in your head. You need to want to be a hex maniac in the first place. Are you supposed to just act spooky and stuff? But yeah, here's the Lost Hotel. There's a lot of scared people here as well. Oh, you can actually learn a technique you can do while skating here, but you actually have to learn other ones, which I don't know where they are at the moment. So, uh, there's that. Actually, is there a hidden item over here? Yes, there is. That's a very useful item, but, uh, you know what, I'll take it, it's money. Hello, there's, uh, there's a hidden item over there. Let's go see what that is. After being attacked by a fairy girl. Why am I using bite? You're gonna resist bite. That was a crit as well, it didn't really do much. I'm beginning to miss gear burn here. What I wanted to do was swift. Fairies, neutral against the fairy. That's, that's interesting. Alright, then, fine. Take a moonbash to the face. May our special defense be lower than my special attack. And then you're sending D D D D D again. Alright, Sparkle, down to you then. Just in case it tries something funny like Nuzzle. It might not do it, it might just use Parabolic Charge, which won't even do anything anyway. I'll charge being which also does uh, Jack all. Poor Gemala is going to murder your face. So really, how are cute? How are cute ty fairy types really scary? Because they're cute and pretty. Okay then. Right, here nice one. Where are we? Somewhere around here. Oh no, it's a mighty or whatever. Shall we do? I could moon blast it, but this is a wild one. So, uh... oh no, it has intimidate when I'm a special attacker. Good gravy. Oh, look at that swagger. Not that I'm particularly bothered because I'm going to try and catch it now. Running out of great balls. That's also pretty great. Also means I can probably start to. Uh, Probably should start using those spells. Oh, 
like pretty soon. There we go. Not that particularly interesting, but uh, yeah, we can't make Yana. Not that it gave me any experience, but that's also a thing. No, you go to box one where you probably were to stay for hour. I think it might be up there and I can't get up there just yet. Gonna drop in this fight. I suppose that's where it is because it's not down here. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Alright, let's put the dose machine away before I get into any more trouble. Because here's the end of the route, but down here there's a strength builder and the route 16. And basically all route 16 does is actually links here to uh, the you know, city, so uh, you have a shortcut to there if you still want to. There's also things you can do here as well. There's also ridiculously tall grass, which um, is it around here. There is, and it's a useful one. I'll take a max revive. Oh yeah, there's different Pokemon here you can find in Route 15, but I never actually went into the tall grass that hit there, so uh, I don't know what they are. But uh, here we are, we're going into the next uh, town, which is uh, Dendermill Town. And it's Professor Sycamore. Hey there, Professor Sycamore. How are you? Um, you're supposed to be a Pokemon professor, not a cafe professor. Alright, fair enough. He, yeah, he recalled me to go this Jerry Pokemon. It's called Xerneas, but I'm probably going to call it Xerxes because I can never pronounce that properly. At least the Y, the y mascot, uh, Evertop, I can pronounce that. And also in Pokemon Y, I actually say, oh, this thing looks like the letter Y. and it causes blood, death and destruction. Hmm, I wonder what we'll be finding this Pokemon in our journeys soon. Yeah, it would be nice. Uh, yeah, he wandered off. Well, okay, you do that. I actually don't like that place. We're gonna have to do it anyway because we can't actually pro. Well, I may as well show you. This place is up to us. Nothing of interest here aside from the fact that this is where the move realigner is. So, uh, that is gonna be the time where I go steal a load of heart scales. But yeah, we can actually go through here because we need something that can go through this uh, thick snow here. In fact, this girl is going to tell you. Um, people usually go to Mama Swine. The Mama Swine is not here because it's a frost cannon. So um, yeah, we need to deal with that apparently. Hmm, I wonder who's causing problems here. I wonder. But uh, yeah, that's it. Um, in the next episode, I will show uh, Dendermill Town in a little bit more detail. 
Uh, but off screen, I'm going to go and steal a bunch of heart scales from love desks because uh, I'm a big dumb meanie like that, and I kind of need them to relearn. I carry them so uh, my team can learn moves that so they can't actually learn anymore. <coughs> but it'll be super useful on the move sets. So uh, yeah, I will do that off screen, and uh, I'll show you the move relearn and stuff in the next episode. So take care, and I will see you guys later. Ciao.